It's a deck of cards with one card that does not match the others. These cards are all blue on the back, and of course that card has a red back. These cards are all different on the face, and of course that card has only one card on its face. Joe, you're going to choose a card from this deck in sort of a weird way. I'll be the first to admit it's a little strange. All these cards... Just let me keep running. It's a deck of cards with a card that does not belong inside that deck. These cards are all blue on the back, which of course is the opposite of this card, which is red. These cards are all different on the face, and of course that card has only one card on its face. Joe, you're going to choose a card from this deck in kind of a weird way. You're going to give me a number, something not too small, not too big, between 10 and 20 would be perfect. 13. 13 cards. Take those cards and deal the 13 cards into my hand one after another. As he's doing that, you can see the cards are all different. No doubles or repeats throughout the entire packet. Each and every card is a different card. Now, 13, any reason you chose that number, Joe? Just picked it. Well, it's interesting. The number 13 is made of two digits, a 1 and a 3. If we add those together, we get... Four. That's my favorite number. It's okay. very strange. I'm going to deal down to one, two, three, and place the fourth card off to the side. Now, after all that dealing and all that counting, you can see, of course, that we could have wound up with a different combination of cards, but that's the one that we wound up with. Before we began, I shuffled up these cards, and even before that, I laid one card face down on the table. For the first time, Joe, would you turn over my prediction and see if it looks familiar? A perfect match. Well, uh, not exactly perfect. These are blue back cards, and that is a red back prediction. But what's interesting is if I take it and rub it against the card that you chose, the strange thing is it becomes a perfect match both back and front. Of course, that's actually the easy part of the trick. The part I've never been able to figure out, Joe, is what the heck happened to all the cards that you were just dealing through a few seconds ago. And you can see each and every card completely and totally blank, no rough and smooth, no deck switch, and it can be a different selection each and every time you do the trick. And that's called white bikes.